OK. Hi, guys. So, um, OK. Today, I am speaking to someone who is really, really cool, who has been kind of a mentor to me over the lockdown now with, you know, my journey with hydroponics. And um, he's super cool to talk to, uh, Dr. Sairam Reddy. He's the chief scientific officer at Urban Kisan. He has about 20 years of experience. Um, he's um, he, he's a seed specialist, he's a molecular biologist, and uh, he has several awards uh, to his name. So I am super excited to be talking to him today. So let's bring him on and answer all our questions. Hi guys, I hope you guys are having like a good weekend so far hi hi thank you for all the love hi, hi. So how are you i'm fine samantagaru how about you i'm very good nice to see you it's pleasure your background is way better than mine by the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's green <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely back i every time i see you thank I you from Urban Kisan, I want to steal everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so I was just telling um, the guys uh, that you know you've been like my mentor over the lockdown, teaching me everything I, I need to know about hydroponics. Um, yeah. Um, I want want to know, like, how did this journey start for you? You know, your interest in hydroponics. Uh, please tell us. Yeah. Uh, it's a good question to start with. Uh, yeah, my journey with uh, hydroponics was actually a necessity rather than a passion. Um, you know, I mean, uh, when I was uh, reading through newspaper, one day I found a very terrifying news that uh, most of the food what we eat here in Hyderabad, uh, in fact, is coming from, you know, uh, some areas which are not actually advised to grow crops. Something like, you know, the Musi river beds. You know, as a result of it, most of the food what we eat is actually carrying lots of, uh, you know, heavy metal intoxications. Mm. We always talk about the pesticide making the, you know, the crop free from pesticides, but we less talk about this, uh, you know, the heavy metal uh, contaminations in the soils especially in the urban, suburban areas and where the crop is being grown there and then we are eating that crop. So one uh, very important thing which made me to really think in these lines is, you know, the, as per WHO, World Health Organization, about 70% of Indian women are anemic. You go to a doctor, they say you eat lots of greens. Yes. And we eat greens, but those greens are full of heavy metals like lead, which in fact counteract on hemoglobin what we have and that makes us more anemic. Oh my God. So that's the uh, uh, scary thing, you know. So made me to think alternate. What do we do at least to help these urban, uh, you know, dwellers to at least can they grow their greens, you know, in their balcony? So that is where uh, my search, uh, you know, for an alternate uh, growing techniques started. I ended up with this hydroponics. Wow. So, I started doing this at my home, you know, in my balcony yes. and try to design everything which fits to actually an Indian, you know, the balcony designs and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. So I remember when I uh, spoke to you first, you, you showed me the video of your balcony and everything that you had yes. And I immediately when I saw it, I, was, I have to do it. <laughs> you have to. So, which is why I wanted to, um, for you to who, you know, my followers, for you to educate them as well and for you to share with them what I know, what you with me as well, uh, about, you know, how important it is for household to be able to grow 
a little portion of their food to know exactly yes. coming from so what does growing your own food mean to you and what see uh, act uh, will will it make if in the society if every household uh, grows a portion of their food, what does what is the impact that you see? yeah see uh, uh, what i see is like it's not possible for us to grow all the food what we eat as you rightly mentioned can we grow at least a portion of food and my actual journey with this uh, uh, hydroponics and then urban kisan started with the greens you know the again as uh, the medical advice every one of us should eat uh, 50 grams grams of uh, you know the greens twice a we is a minimum input we need to uh, have it so that means if we can uh, and grow at least grains at least grains which you can harvest it twice a week you know so that means uh, uh, when if you take your uh, uh, one month uh, it is like you know the eight days of your uh, uh, you know the uh, greens intake is taken care yeah and greens is our primary input for our uh, you know the vitamins uh, minerals like iron and many other things that's a very very important food so mm-hmm. if if every one of us can grow um, this greens at least so that uh, helps us to you know the infuse uh, more amount of uh, nutritive requirements nutritive values to uh as i'm not talking about calories but i'm talking about other part of uh, nutrition especially vitamins and minerals so um yeah uh, like you know i've had this grow with me um journey and uh, so yeah i was uh, very very happy that so many uh, joined me on this journey and through this uh, journey i understood the, the problems that many are facing like with urban farming you know it has to do with space or uh, you know there's not much space which you really very uh, helpfully mm. make the kick vertical and you know that fit exactly yeah uh, so that's all the with space but also there's a problem when it comes to pests uh, what how how do they not lose their produce when it, you know with dealing with pests yeah i should really compliment you for uh, this initiative of grow with me and as uh, outside you know i am seeing the impact of it lots of people uh, you know we have a huge follow followers and so many of them are into it and they are uh, uh, trying to uh, grow their food at least some portion of it and several of them are new initiatives of you know the growing food uh, and it's, it's amazing amazing i mean i should really compliment and appreciate you for that coming to your question of uh, the pest uh, yeah since we are not protecting you know the crop from anything we are not building anything around that they are just open for anything so the pest is a common thing you know that we uh, we cannot avoid getting it but since we are growing these uh, crops in hydroponics their uh, abilities to withstand the pest is uh, to a great extent i um, mean what my observations is very high so they yeah. to a great extent they withstand but you know that they still not uh, uh, you know the insulated from pest we you still get pest mm-hmm. so what i say is that uh, it's very easy to avoid provided you uh, closely monitor them every day just have a look at those uh, small cute babies and if you find something just you can hand pick remove them mm-hmm. or just take uh, soap water you know just spray uh, soap water that should take care or if there are any hard pest neem oil should take care okay so, so this is the, the trick here is uh, having uh, uh, i mean the close observation every day detecting the pest early at a very early age what the pest I, that's uh, what is the dilution sir for this um, soap water and neem oil that you say yeah the uh, soap water actually uh, if you have uh, something like you know the liquid detergent uh, what we use in our domestic uh, you know kitchens and other places mm. so for 1 liter if you put 10 drops that should be uh, sufficient enough 
Okay. Uh, if it is the neem oil, neem oil you get the 300 ppm, 10,000 ppm like that. Uh, I, I I would advise to go with the 300 ppm. That is more than sufficient. Five ml of uh, uh, neem oil uh, for one liter of water, and add three to four drops of uh, liquid detergent again. Don't forget to add the, this liquid detergent, detergent to the uh, neem oil. So that should take care. Caps instead of drops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Everything here, you know, what we what we uh, advise here is very little uh, care and little things and little inputs will uh, make you know the big changes. Yes, thank you for that. Um, so another, uh, you know, when hydroponics is relatively new to everyone's understanding, it was very very new to my understanding as well. You yeah. know. I have I remember asking you. My first question was, "Will I be getting the same nutrients that I am getting uh, from, you know, soil farming?" Which soil. is a, which is a very very important question because, as we know, farming means soil. <laughs> Suddenly, yeah, uh, we very right. That we don't need soil to grow these uh, plants. But does that mean we are getting the same nutrients? from these greens uh, as we are getting from you know soil farming yeah so uh, excellent question you know this is the fundamental of uh, you know the accepting this uh, hydroponics um so w- w- what i would say is uh, the plant has the ability to uh, synthesize all the nutrition what we actually need it does synthesize it doesn't actually take from the soil it does general not- perception is it doesn't take all those things from soil it takes only minerals from soil it doesn't take a vitamin it doesn't take anything any of those uh, nutritive requirements what we actually take except minerals rest everything plant manufactures okay okay so plant only take the the basic minerals from the soil that's all it takes okay rest everything plant does uh, as part of its biosynthetic pathways okay so uh, and you have a photo a light is there to do photosynthesis and get the carbohydrates and then uh, our required uh, fat contents vitamins and all other things plant manufactures uh, in in the leaf not uh, they are not uh, actually absorbed from the soil so what we are actually doing here is we are making sure plant uh, uh, all the requirements of uh, the minerals are available in the in the liquid form you know the soluble water soluble form at okay. the root zone of the plant okay, the plant so- absorbs those essential things and uh, manufacture all that what we need as a um, and in the in the form of nutrition okay so that those are the ingredients right uh, so the nutrients that you have the two carbon uh, gives us the two nutrients yes. that the panic yes thing the yes. Uh, you mimic the soil's nutrients, uh, give it in the liquid form. So it they are exactly. Not- so whatever, yeah, whatever plant uh, actually takes from the soil, that we provide in the form of that, you know, the liquid. Are they chemical? Rest. Ah, uh, they are actually chemicals. Uh, of course, plant can take only chemicals. Okay. You know, but they are simple minerals. They are not uh, very complex chemicals or anything. They are very simple minerals like calcium chloride. Our okay. calcium nitrate, okay. you know, so it's very simple uh, uh, chemicals, boron, you know, those are very simple, uh, basic, fundamental uh, minerals. That's what uh, plant absorbs. Plant cannot absorb even if you give the organic uh, complex manure, uh, but plant requires uh, microbial uh, consortium to break down all the complex uh, organic molecules into small inorganic uh, uh, minerals. and that plant absorbs so we are giving those end product when I mean, what actually the microbes otherwise uh, uh, break down into okay so would you call hydroponics organic uh it's a very tricky question i just wanted to uh, uh, say something here we have a very uh, wrong notion about organic yeah that's organic <laughs> organic is not in chemical sense hmm. organic in sustainability you know the anything so so we talk about business is it growing organically or inorganically what does it mean 
you know so organic growth of a business means it's a sustainable growth mm-hmm. you don't see a sudden spike but you know the very uh, i mean study a very sustainable growth mm-hmm. so the organic farming what we mean mm-hmm. is having a kind of you know organic system of the agriculture system mm-hmm. agronomy approaches which are sustainable so helps the soil soil don't get uh, degraded helps the plant plant won't uh, absorb any toxins and at the same time you know what we are eating plants for our nutrition nutrition is pure and untapped that is what is the actual core of uh, organic okay? okay so these organic definitions are there different you know from uh, continent to continent country to country and uh, things like that uh, hydroponics in us is actually classified as organic american government declared uh, hydroponics as organic okay. but of course there is a lawsuit against government saying that no this is not organic because as a law in arg- 